Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, what's going on? Justin Masson here with Nintendo Dads. And wow, has Nintendo hit us with a doozy this morning. Just hit the social media feeds today. Going through the Twitter, I get this notification. 8 o'clock in the morning, Nintendo sends out a tweet. I'm like, sure, are we talking about some more WarioWare? Are you spoiling more of Metroid Dread? No, ladies and gentlemen. Shabam! Shabam! They hit us with a Nintendo Direct, the September Nintendo Direct. Now, of course, we're always anticipating this September Direct. Why? Because it happens every single year. And, of course, there's been rumors speculating for the last several weeks as we moved into September. Here comes the Direct, right? It is predictable. It is scheduled. Ladies and gentlemen, though, ladies and gentlemen, wow. Wow. Is this interesting? And maybe you're like, Justin, why is this interesting? It's just a Nintendo Direct. It is just a Nintendo Direct. But ladies and gentlemen, it's 40 minutes long. 40 minutes. And that's about the same length as their E3 2021 presentation. This Nintendo Direct is almost the same weight and capacity potentially as their E3 presentation. That's fascinating. That's interesting because Nintendo, Nintendo has an interesting story they need to tell. So let's take a look at this. We're going to break it down piece by piece. First, ladies and gentlemen, let me call this to your attention. Tune in tomorrow or tune in 923, September 23rd at 3 p.m. Pacific time. Urch, stop the car, hold on, turn around, say what? 3 p.m. Pacific time, that's 4 o'clock Mountain Standard Time, 5 o'clock Central, 6 o'clock Eastern, and after that, do your own math, I'm not a time machine for you, all right? Interestingly enough, over in the UK area, it is actually at about midnight, give or take. This is interesting. Why is this interesting? Typically, Nintendo drops their Nintendo Direct presentations in the morning on the uh, west coast of the United States, typically around 8 or 9 o'clock. This usually coincides with shadow drops and refreshes of the eShop to have that content ready. But this is really interesting. This is literally about four, or sorry, about seven hours different than what they would normally do. I don't really know what this means. I don't really have a theory or a speculation, but when we talk about what Nintendo does and weird Nintendo decisions, this is interesting. This may actually hold us, um, show us more about what's going on than what we, uh, this may tell us more about what's going on. There may be something there. I'm not 100% sure. Featuring 40 Minutes. Live stream featuring roughly 40 min minutes of information focusing mainly, under word the, underline the word mainly, on Nintendo Switch games launching this winter. Nintendo has a story that they have to tell us. They have definitely told us what is occurring uh, in October, right? They have spent a lot of time on Dread. They've told us about Mario Party, but they haven't spent a lot of time talking about Mario Party. Just that, hey, by the way, it's boards from the past. But, ladies and gentlemen, I submit to you that what Nintendo hasn't told us is their big game for the holiday 2021. You're like, Justin, what do you mean? Their big holiday game is Metroid Prime. Or Metroid Dread, I apologize. It's not Metroid Prime. Well... Typically, Nintendo will have a game that launches the week of November 19th, approximately. This is right before, right around the Black Friday area. This is one of those games that they will associate or tie with uh, that season. This is their holiday game. They'll, they'll make it accessible. They'll make it sure that, so if somebody's going out and picking up a Nintendo Switch, uh, this is a game that they're like, yeah, I need to pick that up. Yeah, I absolutely going to pick that one up, right? It's an accessible game, part of a key franchise. And ladies and gentlemen, they haven't told us what that game is yet. I believe here we are going to get this. Interestingly enough, you're like, but what are you talking about, Justin? They've told us all these games. Last year around this time is actually when they told us about uh, Hyrule, Warrior, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. It was September, and it came out in November, and that was the game. I believe here, 
in this time frame is when we're actually going to find out what that holiday game is. And I submit to you a couple of potential crazy options. First, there's that rumored Donkey Kong game sitting around there. That could absolutely come that spot. Next, it has been four years since the original or since Mario Odyssey was released. Could we see a new Mario game? Could we see a new Mario Odyssey game? Next, the one that's always floating out there. Could this be a Mario Kart 9? I know you're like, Justin, that's crazy, but we know it would sell. You're halfway through a life cycle of a console. You've got the OLED coming out. You've got the new Switch Lite coming out with uh, the Pokemon variant stuff. Bam, that could absolutely, you key that up with a, with a um, Mario Kart, that will move consoles, that will move units. You'll absolutely make tremendous sales. Now, obviously, you're also saying, but Justin... Nintendo also has the Pokemon Pearl and Shiny Diamond stuff coming out of that time spot as well. That's their holiday game. No, it's not. It's not. That's Pokemon's game. Yes, I understand Nintendo's associated with it, but if you ever look when a Pokemon game releases, Nintendo also has another game they release. This, ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow is when we'll find out what that game is. Let me know in the comments below what you think that game is also. But I digress. The other parts of it that they really have to break down. Tell us more about Advanced Wars. Tell us more about this big brain training game. And give us a sneak peek into what January and February and March looks like for Nintendo. We need to start seeing that, that runway. We need to start seeing what are things we're excited about. Is Bayonetta 3 somewhere in there? Are they providing any update or, or kind of connection with, hey, maybe we're going to you know get the Metroid Prime trilogy in March of 2022? There's so much here. And obviously, there are some other hanging fruits that we have from the indie game. So, for example, do we have an update on when Life is Strange is coming to the Nintendo Switch? Uh, what about Fall Guys? What about Outer Wilds? There's a lot of these other games out there. And I would not be horribly shocked if you see some wild cards out here as well from third parties. So, for example, we know that uh, Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy is coming to the Nintendo Switch as a cloud game in uh, the end of October. Could we also see the Avengers come to the Nintendo Switch as a cloud game? Square Enix has Square Enix is doing the Marvel's Avengers game, which is a cloud game coming to the Switch. They have mentioned that they do not have the sales numbers that we that typically want to see with um, with Marvel's Avengers. It is available on Stadia right now. There is no reason we possibly couldn't see more cloud-based gaming. And I know you're like, oh, I hate cloud games, but. There's a, we potentially could see that here. Could we see something like an Assassin's Creed Valhalla come here as a cloud game as well? I think there's lots of possibilities. Ladies and gentlemen, it will be fascinating to see what Nintendo does tomorrow. Let me know in the comments below, what are you hoping for the most? What are you excited for? What are your fingers crossed for? We, of course, we will be uh, reacting live to it on our, on our channel, on Twitch and on YouTube. So come back and check it out. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.